Hey there, YouTubers, it's Interactive White Box, and I'm here with my next video. And I'm actually going back to a previous series. Uh, this is my top down uh, map that I was making within Unity. So I wanted to come back to this because uh, a lot of people have been watching this series, and I wanted to see if I can kind of further this level. Uh, it's, one that I am kind of really interested in improving and expanding on. So I want to give this a, a good shot and try to work a little bit more on this. So it has been a while since I have worked on this level. Uh, this is something that I've used Pro Builder with. And if you're not familiar with Pro Builder, it's basically just a plugin for Unity where you could go in and you can manipulate these shapes right here. So it is something that, you know, helps out uh, uh, quite a bit with white boxing. So I want to try to kind of further this level. So kind of give to, to give me a refresh, I do want to play this uh, game uh, uh, one more time. And, and get a good sense of, you know, where I am at with it. So, <coughs> I have this guy walking around, and this is kind of like a, um, probably turn the audio for those down, but yeah, that's really loud, but it's kind of like a, a sci science lab that uh, is a, a shooter. And as you can see, you know, you uh, have a weapon and you're just going through and um, taking care of these guys. So, kind of my first initial thoughts cu coming back to this is like this opening area is very straightforward. Um, there's not a lot of um, there's not a lot to it as far as just navigating through this area. Uh, I do like this area, but it is kind of easy to go through the bottom here. So, I'm wondering if I want to create some sort of like barrier here. That's something that uh, we can really uh, look at and, and see how that plays into the game. And maybe, um, yeah, just having some variety, uh, just some navig, navi uh, like just navigate around this differently. And go up here, and um, you know this is a very interesting area because we kind of go into here. Maybe we want to play something right here. Uh, that would be something to kind of uh, think about. And we have um, these kind of upper areas here, where um, you know. I think uh, the one guy that I killed up here tends to walk in this area right here, so... <coughs> Excuse me, I have been sick the last week, so I'm trying to pull this all together. So... This is something that, you know, if we hit F, we dash. So I wanted to create something where, you know... You can go down here, and of course that guy's gonna shoot at us if um, he sees us. So you can flip over here, and you can use F. Um, one issue that I've been seeing though, um, other than just jumping there, is we have this kind of thing right here where if I backtrack. <laughs> I 
and for some reason I don't know what <laughs> the game just didn't restart I guess so I have to play again but and that just stuns you which I'm not entirely sure if I want it just to stun um, it'd be kind of nice to have like damage or something on those but we can kind of uh, look around and see what assets the top-down engine has and see if we can do something with that I'm just gonna go over here <coughs> of course we have um, this but we have a problem here so we have this um, we have this kind of blocking the way this is something that is um, this is a problem right here this is not supposed to happen and I think I set up something weird so um, we'll kind of take a look at that uh, next time we go in because um, we have this going on and this is definitely something I don't want but we have um, we have this right here and then we can jump on on these I think that you have to dash And you gotta be careful to like jump on it. We might, I don't know, try to do something to make this a little bit more uh, easier to just navigate. Because as far as like the golden path of this level, I don't really know if I want to have. Um... <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if I really want to have like a, a hard, uh, I, don't, I don't know if I want to have people really have a, a hard time with this, but I do want to continue to have kind of this uh, idea of this like platform going around this room here, which I think is kind of the initial idea of this level. So, or this room in particular. So, one of the first things I'm going to do is, hey, I want to see if I can either, let me see, uh, picked feedback, sound, I wonder if I could lower this, because <laughs> it is, it is, vault. it, it is uh, really loud, so I'm just going to go with three. Point three on the volume, and hopefully that will um, hopefully that will uh, not make it so loud. I might go back and play it, especially since it's at the very first part of the level. I'll try to mute my mic. I'm sorry. I'm. I've been having a cold this last week, so it's been kind of a, a struggle. Oh, that sounds a lot less, um, yeah, <laughs> a lot less loud. Okay, so that that's better. Um, I also want to take a look. Because the reason why all of these platforms are, are going absolutely nuts is because I have this uh, move platform here. And I think what I was trying to do with it was I was trying to spawn additional platforms in this area. So um, I don't know if that's just... I might have to play around with this at a later time off camera. But for what this room is going to be right now, 
Um, we have this moving platform right here, which is going to be just this simple platform. And all it's really doing, uh, if I go into play focused here and I play it, we can kind of take a look at it in action in the game. But it's just this simple platform object. Uh, it doesn't have anything right here opposed to uh, this right here. It has a plat spawner and I think I created something that would uh, spawn those platforms in. So this is kind of set up, but I have it set to uh, spawn additional platforms. I don't know if that's working the way I intended it. So um, as you can see, yeah, it's just going all crazy like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the uh, plat bomber uh, plat spawner uh, component here. And we have this platformer right here. And um, if we look at this, basically we have the moving, the, the move plat, and then we have the moving platform. So this is the actual object. It has this moving plat script on it that just moves it. And then we have two different waypoints here. So kind of, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> Again, I, I guess this is kind of the nice thing about like stopping work on a project and then coming back to it and kind of approaching it with like a new set of eyes and, and, and kind of a clear mind. Because um, I don't really know what I was thinking with this uh, when I originally was just playing around with it. But um, I think what I was trying to do was trying to create like maybe a little a box thing. Like maybe there's like a, a box and then there's like a claw arm or something. It's just like these boxes moving. So. Excuse me about that. So. One of the things. That I want to kind of continue to do. Is have this box move around this room. But. Um, I have these spawn points which i don't really know what was going on with that but i'm just going to what i'm going to do is i'm going to play the game and just see what um what's going on with this because i'm not entirely sure where this platform is uh trying to go uh, it does have platform three four and five so it's not going to go to the sixth one right over here which is fine <coughs> excuse me but i want to see um i think it just goes back and forth yeah so it just goes back and forth so that's something that um i'm gonna try to to fix here and we might also look at adding, um, is there like a way to add in a gizmo or I'm pretty sure there's a way to like add a um, particular icon or something with this. I might have to look into that later, but, um, oh, actually, yeah. We have a moving plot here, so if I go into here, I could probably just add in yeah, little um, icons here to just show the um, yeah, all of these. So, <coughs> excuse me. We have this, so with number five here, um, I'm going to match, I'm just gonna copy 
the uh, position of this and I'm going to paste in that position and then I'm just going to move these around. So I want to just keep this on the same level here. So um, I'm just going to play around with just the general shape of this. And then I'm going to go into here. I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy the position of that. I'm going to go to point six and then I'm going to paste the position. I'm going to go into here and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a look at this point right here. Um, and of course I want to copy the X. So I'm just going to go into the X copy, paste it. And the Y sh or the Z, or no, the Y should be the same thing. So now what we have, if we save it, is we have this uh, platform and let's try to let's try to see if we can make it go a bit faster. So we do one two. Um, another thing that I'm gonna probably change is how this is kind of in the um, this is in the actual like wall. So I'm gonna just take both of these and I'm gonna try to just kind of, um, I'm just gonna try to just pull that out to there. And then um, with that, I think, um, I think I wanna move this, yeah, to about there because I wanna make sure that this is kind of in line with this block, I am going to move this kind of right here. I don't know if it's going to do the same thing, but, or keep it in like the same spot, but I can kind of keep my eye out on it. And then right with this um, point right here, again, like I did before, I'm just going to copy the X position and then paste it right here. And then what we're going to do now is before I forget about it, uh, I'm going to just add the six point right here. So now what we have is we have a, a moving box. Um, definitely is going to be a lot more cleaner and we might have like just little kind of, um, I don't know. We might have just several of these boxes and then just different obstacles that you have to, uh, get out of the way with. Um, but that actually, I wonder what is going on with that. So it's going back and forth. So I wonder if there's a way <coughs> to, to loop around that. So we might have to take a look at um, the script right here, moving plot. So I'm gonna go into, um, the, the script right here. And I might cheat here. Um, so I'm not the best with like, um, I'm not the best with uh, scripting. I, I do think that you should always kind of have a good sense of, you know, computer scripting and, and doing different things. Um, but we have AI now 
And I think uh, just using JetGPT is a kind of a nice way of uh, just, if you're not quite sure how to do something, of course, like doing things the very um, good way of just learning how to do something is good. But I'm just gonna take this and see um, if I can, hold on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. We'll see how good JetGPT does this. But I'm basically going to ask, instead of going from like point A to B to C, how can I have it go from um, C to B to C to A? And I'm just going to have it also create like a little check so um, I can choose to do either or. So. <laughs> um, what we have here is um, kind of a updated script. So um, I'm just gonna, I'm going to uh, save this and just see what happens. <laughs> I'm mainly using JetGPT right now because I'm in a video and I don't want to like spend too much time trying to figure out like how to do a scripting thing and sit here and trying to like do something. But if it doesn't work, um, I'll just uh, take some time after the video to try to get something to properly work and then um, see if we can uh, get something working. But um, this is kind of just a small example of how to use AI to just do something quickly um, so as you see here we have loop back to start so I might choose that and then if we save it um, I just want to see if this works <coughs> I think uh, using ChatGPT just um, figure out small little things like this could be a nice way to just create something um, if you're not too familiar familiar with scripting itself, but I do encourage you to actually go out and try to actually code something and, and understand the code and, and whatnot. And ChatGPT and AI is kind of a good tool to just kind of get a, a good head start. But as you can see here, yeah, uh, this is just going back to the start and it's just kind of going around in a circle and um, kind of on the flip side, if we disable the loop back to start and we save it, uh, we can just check to see if it goes, you know, like a, a C and it goes just back and forth. So <coughs> we can take a look at this and see if it works. And I'm pretty sure it probably will, hopefully, knock on wood. As you can see, it goes back and forth. 
So that's kind of a, a nice little tool to have uh, on our moving platform. So with that, we'll uh, leave the loop back to start. Um, clicked on, on that. So what we have now is we have a good platform. So I might play through the level again. <coughs> And just uh, make sure we can stay on the platform and whatnot. And actually, um, I might play Maximize so I can clearly see everything that's going on. Alright, so we're gonna go pick this up. We got this guy. We might, I might change the volume of the gunshots as well. Those are kind of loud. I don't know if it, I might have to look at my previous videos and see if uh, the volume comes back in the feedback of that. But. Another issue that I'm seeing is that, like, you see that the aim cursor is uh, white. It's really hard to read on these um, Pro Builder blocks. So another fix that we might do is we might change this cursor to something like red or something that we can clearly uh, see on the screen. So that's another fix that we can utilize that will help a lot with everything. But um, as you can see, if we go back to this area, um, we can see that you know the blocks are finally not um, going crazy. And we just have this uh, this block in the the air, so this is a lot more uh, less chaotic. Um, and you can see that, like, oh my gosh, you know, we got to go back. And the purpose of this too is I kind of like how this kind of, you can see the path here uh, clearly and um, you can kind of look at this uh, room. <coughs> but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give this platform a shot. So we're gonna have to run and then press F. I might change this because yeah, it's very, uh, it's very iffy on um, that. But I want to just kind of uh, check this platform, uh, make sure, you know, it's not crazy. And then again, um, you know, this is kind of going a bit slow, so we could speed this up. But we really want to take a look at different obstacles are, um, that we could utilize. Um, and then kind of get a good sense of different things that we can do in this area. So if we go back, um, I'm gonna, oh, I gotta click scene. I kind of want to move these back to um, 0.5, yeah. I'm gonna move these back a bit. to about there and then I'm going to copy the Z and then I will paste that and then that will be there um, for the moving plat um, let's make this 1.6 and then also what I want to do is I'm going to go into Pro Builder and I'm going to select this wall and I kind of want to move this out a bit just because um you know this corner of this platform is peeking through this wall and it i don't know for me it just looks kind of bad but you know that's something that um you know it's just a quality control thing that it's just irking me so okay so Now with that, um, I kind of want to try to do something where um, we have 
I don't know. I, I want to try to try want to do something with something like this. So I'm going to duplicate this platform and I don't know. I really want to keep my moving platforms um, together. And actually what I might do is you see here in the hierarchy, um, things are kind of out of control and, and everything is, yeah, not really grouped together very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a new uh, game object because I am just kind of tired of this. So moving plat group. I'm just going to make a overall group of, of objects and keep these all together. So I'm going to move this all the way up on my hierarchy. And I'm just going to uh, just move all of these under here. Um, I guess it's not going to work. Um, so yeah. Um, I just wanted, oh, okay. There we go. Oh, I, I think I, I know what I was trying to do. I was trying to move the parent and the child when all I need to do is just move the parent. But now all this is going to be under one uh, little area. So we have a, we have a, a duplicate of this. So what I want to do is move this basically to uh, over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do something kind of similar to what I was trying to do with this um, block, but <coughs> it might be a bit kind of weird. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add in a couple tags on these two. this and then I'm gonna go to here um, I'm actually going to just copy the position of that I'll co oh, I'm sorry. I accidentally copied and not pasted. There we go. And I'm just going to go here. So what I'm going to try to do... is I'm going to have these two moving platforms, but I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to name this point three. I'm going to move this down below the four. I don't know if this is actually going to work. And then I'm going to also duplicate that one. 
I'll name that point four. And I'm going to just move that over here. And I'm going to match the X. That. Yeah, it lines up. Uh, one thing I am going to do, though, is I'm going to match up the points of this one with the Y. And the point of this. Um, hmm. That's weird. Uh, copy that. Huh. That's weird. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just move this up then. Try to match somewhat the same level. I guess it's like different, I don't know, that's really weird. But what I'm going to do is, um, I have this at seven points. Uh, I'll try two. I'm going to do a loop back to start. And what I want to see is what this is going to look like um, when it's moving and stuff. So I'm just going to go to the game, uh, hit play focused. So it's not maximizing the entire screen. I'm just going to play again. And my hope is that it's going to kind of look like a platform that's coming out of the wall. It disappears in the ground, comes back. Um, but we might have to set up multiple uh, platforms that is doing this unless I want to get the spawning the platforms. Oh, and you know what? Actually, uh, we made a, an oopsie. We didn't uh, create the additional points for this. So we're going to go in here, set point three to element two, and then element three to point four. And now we can uh, check it and make sure that it looks good. So we'll go back to the scene and we'll just take a look at this and again, we might have to create different uh, instances of the platform, but hopefully We can get something going or <coughs> We can just uh, Now we might try to, I don't know, do something different. This is another kind of, um, it's kind of another trick to doing like the spawning, um, where we're not actually spawning multiple objects that are disappearing over time. I might uh, really try to go back and see if I can get that script to work the correct way. But um, we're having like several different things. So what I, what I could do is instead of just having this, um, I can actually uh, duplicate this. So I have uh, move platform three. And we have the same uh, waypoints here, but we have a different, um, we have a, another platform. So what I could do 
is just move this right here. And instead of having uh, one, two, three, four, we could actually um, start with point three. So with that, um, we can just kind of reverse it. So point four, point, or point three, point four, point one, and then point two. And then with that, what we should have is we should have two platforms. <coughs> and again, this is kind of a kind of a hacky way um, to do this, um, but this might not be a, a a bad way to go about this. Um, but it seems to work fairly nicely. And what we might also do is we might add in an additional wall that will um, come out to here. So if we have a, a wall like right here, this will just kind of disappear in. So um, it's really hard to see it kind of like looping back around. So it kind of gives more of a a sense that this is actually just a new platform every single time. So yeah, I think that's working pretty good right now. So what I might actually do is I might duplicate this two more times and just create different, um, yeah, different parts of this. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate again. And with this, uh, we can actually move this, um, let's move this up. Let's move that to about like right there. Cause that's kind of the middle part, I think of that. And then now um, we have point two. So we can just start with point two, point three, point four and point one and now we can do the opposite even with that so um we'll just duplicate this one again And we have this under the ground here. I do want to kind of, you know, level that up with like the dots and stuff. I might just move that a bit, maybe right here. So we have point four. So with this, we start out point four, point three. Point three is going to be the last one. Point one and then point two. And then we have all of these moving platforms now. So we have that. Um, and what I might do is um, I'm just going to create a new shape. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to create something right there. So we got that. I'm 
I'm gonna move this back. And I'm gonna just kind of uh, play around with this shape a bit. I am going to um, move this in because what I want to do is um, I'm going to extrude this face right here and I'm going to select this edge I'm just going to bring this up. Extrude this face. Oh, no, not that face. <laughs> I'm going to extrude this face right here. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to take a look at this and see how this looks. So we see we have these kind of going in. Got that one. It is a little bit more frequent. Um, I'm going to go and see if I can kind of take a look at some of these. You see like the blue outline of, of them all moving around? Um, they are kind of spread out. We do want to be careful with um, making sure that, you know, they do get multiple, you know, there's, we want to make sure that whenever this is coming up to here, there's always something that the player can jump on. And see that kind of last second. And we can kind of fine tune this as we go, especially as we kind of test play the, the game and whatnot. And then what we can do from here is, um, Maybe we can have um, a new shape. Where you have to like jump on this. And again, you have to keep in mind that this is gonna be the, um, this is gonna be this perspective of um, what we're doing, so. I think we're, let's uh, test play this and see how this goes. And if we need to kind of continue to work on this more, we can. But um, actually, before we do that, let me maximize the game, play it. Oh, pick up that. Pick up that. Hopefully I won't die. I'm going through there.
It'd be kind of nice to be able to like destroy these mines. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use this dash. Just jump through there to avoid that area. You see, come in here, you see the blue light, and you're like, oh shoot. You know, I might have to go back and go on top of there, but. <coughs> I might have to, you know, do something with this wall, make it a little bit more taller or something. But, um, we'll uh, test this little um, platforming out and see how it goes. And we'll have to probably dash instead. Again, I might get rid of that uh, entirely, like the lights there, and just create like a little expand this uh, walkway out, and maybe even make the boxes go back a bit more. But for now, uh, we'll just uh, do it the old way. See, I'm already messing up. <laughs> hey, I'll just wait for the block to come back. Okay, so uh, we're just gonna wait. And hopefully the, uh, Hopefully, uh, we'll just be able to walk on this platform. There we go. And then, you can just jump on there. Whoa, whoa, what is going on? Okay, so we have like a bug here where, um, I don't know, that is very odd. We might have to take a look at that later. Uh, interesting. The game is like, game seems to be breaking when we are on these moving platform. That's so weird. I, as you can see, we're moving here. I don't know if it's the, the speed, but Okay. No, we jumped, but we're fine there. Yeah, see, it's like... <laughs> I, I don't know why that's doing that. I'm guessing it's just a bug with the top down, or... I don't know. We'll have to take a look and see what, what is causing that. Because, yeah, that is very peculiar. Oh, I think we missed the, the block there. But yeah, that's just kind of one of those things about, you know, playtesting and uh, checking your game, making sure there's no types of bugs or anything. Uh, you might come across something wonky like that. So if I, well, that didn't go very well, but you get the you get the idea. Uh, we might have to play around a little bit more with this and just make sure that things aren't completely breaking on us. I'm gonna try to jump on this. Yeah, that's fine. But when we jump on that weird you might have to what we might have to do is um, I'm gonna play focus right now but um, on the next episode when we're playing this 
We might have to um, either like lower this block right here and put it closer to these platforms. Actually, might do that. So, not this block right here. <coughs> Excuse me. I might, I might make that there. I might expand this to right here. And then this, I really want to try to get these to be a little bit more higher. Of course, it's going to kind of um, throw some things off, I think. But I just want this to look uh, a little bit more better, if that makes uh, sense. I might have to go into here. Um, boop. Extend that to this other block here. We'll save this. We'll uh, we'll test this one more time and see if um, this does anything for the game. Oh, let me uh, maximize it first. turn those clicks down more because I might go down the stairs this time. We can uh, step. Oh, <laughs> we step on the mine, and it it's still like. We'll let that guy go. Okay, so let me test this out. Uh, I want to just also check to make sure that this uh, platforming looks good. So we'll wait for the block here. You see that's coming up. We might expand this wall. Um, oh, well that was not, uh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I need to probably jump on the actual block there. Press, oh. Yeah, I, I don't know about this uh, light thing over here. That's something I'm probably going to change out. Dash. We'll just wait for this to come back around. Hopefully we won't miss. There we go. Oh my gosh, okay. See if I can make it before it comes back. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't know. We might do this, uh, we might play around with this a little bit more later next episode. But um, I want to thank everybody for watching. Again, um, if this is your first time watching uh, my channel, please uh, you know, subscribe and watch my other videos. And if um, you're continuing this series, uh, subscribe to see my next ones and drop a like and comment. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time and have a great Memorial Day. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.